Greetings. I'm back with another frequently asked question. This time I'm going to be tackling the Benchmaster Ground Blind Chair. This is also known as BMGBSC2, but that's not important. As you can see right now, I am pulling and showing all of the parts and pieces that will come inside your box. Be sure that you're not missing anything. I'm also going to be using a chair to help me set up and show you how I set it up. I hope you find this useful. First off, make sure you have the back side of the chair facing away from you. Next, you're going to take off the wing nut, the lock washer, as well as the washer, and most importantly, the stabilizing bar. You'll be needing these later. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to set the backrest for the chair. What we'll do is we'll attach the backrest to the back side of the seat using the crossbar. Set it down, and then next, use the locking Velcro straps, there are two, one in the front of the chair and one in the back of the chair, to stabilize the backrest. Once you have the Velcro straps locked down, it's time to move on to the legs for the chair. I'll open it up just to show you where the hole is and where you will be wanting to insert it into the seat. Make sure it's all the way down and flush. Now we take that metal stabilizing bar, slide it in all the way until it's at the very bottom and secure. Next, we'll be attaching the washer, locking washer, and wing nut. And as you can see, I put the washer, locking washer, and I tighten the wing nut all the way down to the bottom to make sure that the legs are secured to the chair itself. From here, I make sure it's stable, and I will flip over the chair itself. Now let's get this other chair out of the way, and I'll show you in better detail. From here, I'll try and move this chair in a better view and show you how to install the shooting arm. It's three simple pieces, fairly intuitive, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll explain how it goes. First off, we have the gap where you will be inserting the shooting arm into the chair. You'll notice this because it will have a knob at the top and a curved metal piece at the bottom. Now on the bottom of the chair, there's a tightening knob, which I'll have to loosen to make sure that I have enough space to insert the shooting arm into. Once it is loosened enough, the arm should be able to slide in fairly easily, but should still have a secure and snug fit. Now I will tighten that knob to make sure that the arm stays secure. Next, I'll be talking about the extendable arm for your shooting arm. With the metal piece facing away from you, towards away from the chair, unloosen the knob on the shooting arm and insert the second part, the extendable arm, into it. Tighten the knob to make sure it's a secure fit, and from here, unscrew the second knob on the gunstock rest. These knobs will be used for making micro adjustments and other tightening purposes. For right now, I'm just gonna be inserting it and then tightening it up again. Now that I've tightened down both knobs, I am basically installed the entire shooting rest. From here, you can adjust your legs by pinching the two small silver buttons and pulling outwards. I'm going to do all four chairs just to give you a sense of what it looks like, but it is a fairly self-explanatory and intuitive process. And with that, I'll get my fourth leg down, secured, and my ground blind chair is set. You can make all types of micro adjustments, swivel 360 degrees in perfect quietness, and it's a solid chair to shoot from. Thank you for watching. I hope this answers your questions, and thank you for choosing Benchmaster.